Hi, Jimmies. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. I would like to thank all of my subscribers out there. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your support. All of my wonderful clients, you guys absolutely, totally rock. I would like to give a shout out here uh, to one of my soul sisters out there. Um, I do not normally do this, but I decided this time I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'd like to give a big shout out to Angelic Whispers 13. Uh, girl, you're doing a good job, so keep it up. And if any of you would like to check her uh, site out, just go to Angelic like whispers 13 and um, watch some of her videos and give her some support okay so love to you okay um, let's go ahead and let's get started guys as you know uh, I am going to be going on hiatus on uh, the 15th of April and when I go on a hiatus I am going to be kind of revamping my uh, my overall delivery my flow my readings my spreads my the way that everything's introduced it's a time for me to kind of take a step back and uh, reevaluate on you know where the business is going and, and how this is going to transpire uh, in the future all right so I just want to make you guys aware of that um, I also have another Gemini friend out there that I'd like to give a little shout out to Donica hi how are you I uh, hope everything's going well um, uh, she is also quite skilled and she will be starting her new business her, her new business pretty soon as well so I will keep you guys updated on all of that all right I've got so many Gemini friends I could uh, like go down the list Karen you're out there um, gosh who else Dina you're out there you girls just rock all right it's like the gem sisters okay so we're just like gemorific <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started, guys, on the astrological alignments. Uh, gems, we have got the sun in your 11th house. This is all about um, hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, social networking. Um, and this is not surprising. I was guided to uh, bring up uh, some of my Gemini friends out there. And it's all about social networking right now, Gems. So take advantage of it. Support one another. Get out there. Do what you need to do. Get your... Get your um, your identity out there because this is your hopes your wishes your dreams and goals and this is when the sun illuminates and spotlights you right then and there right in front of people for everyone to see all right so this is all about groups networks associations so utilize this energy with the sun to your advantage all right uh, this is also please remember for uh, Gemini Sun Moon and Rising or if you've got a lot of Gemini in your chart in your natal chart you would want to listen to this particular uh, message for April of 2016 Mars is in your seventh house gems so with Mars in your seventh house of partnerships whether it be business partnerships or romantic partnerships there is aggression there is passion in partnerships you want to be seen gem you want to be uh, heard you want to be known all right in partnerships and this is something that Mars is making possible for you all right just make sure you're not overly aggressive you can be passionate but temper that with that love and that kindness and that unconditional just joy that you put out there for everyone to be able to partake in all right Mars is going retrograde on the 18th so Mars is going to be taking his foot off the pedal off the gas and he's gonna allow a little bit of a coast to kind of happen uh, once he starts going retrograde in this area of your life and that is not bad when it comes to partnerships romantic partnerships and business partnerships the aggression will be relieved the passion will be more measured and you will be able to move forward on a solid foundation which is awesome okay also I do recommend with Mars going retrograde in the seventh house on the 18th that you do not rush into any partnerships but you let it develop organically Venus is in your 10th house going into your 11th house a Venus currently is in Pisces holla <laughs> and then we'll go into Aries on the fifth all right um, so basically what's going on here is that you've got Venus in your 10th house Gemini and this is all about having lovely harmonious comforting even small financial gain energies coming at you 
into your 10th house of status and career. So you might be getting small financial gain from your career. You might be getting a promotion. You might be getting a job change that gives you just a little bit more money in your pocket uh, than you have at your current job right now. Uh, it also brings harmony, love, and compassion as it relates to your status. So for some of you gems out there, you might be embarking on a relationship where you are showing to the world that your status is one of being in a comfortable, loving bond with someone else, whether that be um, with a with a friend, with a partner, with a romantic partner, a business partner, whatever it is, you're putting that, or Venus is bringing that energy to you to uh, just lend a lot of love in what it is you are trying to accomplish with your status, whether it be going from single status to married status, married status to single status, grandma, to grandma, or I'm sorry, uh, aunt to grandma, or something like that, sister to grandma. Um, you've got this um, this status transition that might be happening for you, and then um, it moves into your eleventh house of social networking, hopes, wishes, dreams, goals. And this is so beautiful because it's going to bring love and it's going to bring people to you in your social network, in um, this area of your life that where you have support, where you have love, where you have kindness. All right. So just be aware of that. Um, Venus also brings small financial gain, possibly through friends. So just be aware that that energy is out there for you. Saturn is in your seventh house of partnerships, business partnerships, romantic partnerships. With Saturn going retrograde on the 26th of March, you have Saturn taking his foot off the brake. So you got Mars taking his foot off the gas, Saturn taking his foot off the brake, and now you've kind of got this smooth road ahead. Now, even though all of us go through transitions and even all of us go through um, challenges in our life so that we can learn our lessons, this is going to be a little bit smoother because you have learned lessons from the past, past two, last past two or three uh, years. And now you're incorporating those lessons with how you interact with people day to day. All right. So this is beautiful. Saturn is taking that task master uh, uh, energy. He's going to sleep. Okay. So what happens when he goes to sleep is he allows for a little bit of movement in this area of your life. You don't have to try so hard. You don't have to achieve perfection. You're just okay being you. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Mercury is in your 11th house going into your 12th house. It retros in Taurus on the 29th. So for you, Taurus is your 12th house. Aries is your 11th house. So it is going to be going direct in Aries up until uh, the 6th. Then it moves into Taurus. And then it goes retrograde into Taurus on the 29th. So you have Mercury going fast footing it right through your 11th house. This is all about hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, groups, associations, friendships. So in this particular case, you have, um, you have the ability to bring in communication, letting the world know who you are, letting the world know about your associations, letting the world know about your hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals, your friendships. Now, for some of you, with the Saturn activity in your 7th house and Mars activity in your 7th house, the 7th house also rules open enemies. All right. So for some of you, with Saturn taking his foot off the get, uh, foot off the brake and Mars taking his foot off the gas, it's almost like time is going to stand still for you. And you are going to be able to focus in on who is your friend and who is full of crap. Bottom line. All right, so just be aware of that. And when Mercury is going through this area of your life in your 11th house of friendships, networks, goals, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams, you are going to be communicating to people, you know what, I thought that person was my friend, but I just don't know if I can trust them. And you can do that in a kind manner. It doesn't mean that you don't love the person. It doesn't mean that you don't want the person to be happy. It just means that your energies don't mesh. And it's okay to make that known. All right, so just be aware of that. Uh, Mercury uh, going into your 12th house is all about communication as it relates to hidden matters in your life. It could be healing, hospitals, romantic um, interludes that are hidden, uh, somebody that you're dating that is not out in the open just yet, 
when Mercury goes direct in this area of your life, of Taurus, you are going to see that even though you may want to keep something kind of on the hush-hush, the person that you're seeing says, we got to make this official. we got to get it out there. I'm going to tell people I'm dating you, whether you like it or not. And that's just the way it's going to be. And it's going to be okay. Because once you have that conversation, you're going to be, you're going to be saying, okay, how is it that we want to move forward with this relationship? What should we tell people? Um, I want to respect your identity and your individuality, and I want you to respect mine. So how are we going to make this work for both of us? Have that conversation, Gemini. Very important. Um, and even if it's a conversation that says, I am with you for the long haul, and I am going to tell people that you're my soulmate, and that is just the way it's going to be. That might be how you want to uh, fashion this energy based on the discussion that you have with your partner. Okay, especially uh, after the 6th. And then once we get to the 29th and Mercury starts going retrograde, the two of you, and this relates to the romantic clandestine affair, the two of you may revisit how it is you want to express your love out into the world, you, how you want to express your status out into the world. Remember, you've got Venus in your 10th house until the 5th. So there could be uh, a discussion that you have with a significant other or somebody that you're seeing kind of on the DL that um, you come out and you say, my status is now exclusive. My status is now single. My, ex my status is now, we're going to get married. Okay, we're in it for the long haul. Okay, and then when Venus moves into your 11th house on, um, on the, let's see here, on the 5th. Okay, so when it moves in on the 5th, then, I'm sorry, it's in Pisces up until the 5th. And, and that just brings in even more clandestine affair activity. Okay, and romance. Okay, but... Um, when it and, and some, for some of you, you might be having a romance at work. I'm just letting you know, all right. Or you might be going into business with a love partner, and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, but after the fifth, with Venus going into your eleventh house of of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, and everything, you might have that discussion between the sixth and the twenty ninth. And after the fifth, with the person that you're seeing on the DL that says, no, I'm telling people that I'm seeing you. I'm telling people that I'm dating you. Um, so put that in your pipe and smoke it because, you know, we're not, we're not leaving each other. Okay, so that could be how that works out, Gemini. So just be aware of that. And then um, once me, um, Mercury goes retrograde, that is where you're going to revise things. That might be where you guys consider, okay, we're dating each other. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's look at this relationship. We're in an exclusive status right now. We were hidden. Now we're out in the open. Um, let's start telling, you know, people uh, openly that uh, not only are we exclusive, but we are looking at a future together. Okay, so that might be how that how that relates to some of you out there. The full moon is in Virgo on the 22nd, and for you, Gemini, this is in your fourth house. I am definitely sensing there's a culmination, climax, or an ending as it relates to your home life, your home status, your house, okay, at this full moon or around this full moon on the 22nd in Virgo. And this is all about the details. This is all about dotting your I's, crossing your T's, all right, in your home life. So I am definitely sensing that some of you are going to have a discussion with your significant other that you may have had on the DL, that you're now out in the open. You guys might actually be discussing once Mercury starts going retrograde uh, in your 12th house, you might actually be discussing um, how it is that you may want to consider moving in with one another or sharing locations with your homes with one another okay that could be you may have a discussion with this significant other that is all about healing okay this significant other might be selling their home they might be moving they might be um you know they might be they might have gone through a divorce and they're introducing you back into their life as someone that's a companion that wants you to spend more time in their home or they want to spend more time with you in your home 
okay? That could be. There is something culminating in this area of your life. And if you're in a loving, happy bond and you're married, you've got something culminating around your home, around your core values. So just be aware of that. The new moon is um, on the 7th and it is in Aries. And for you, this is in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, uh, networks, associations. So if you had a hope, wish, dream, or goal, and it doesn't even matter what it's in. It could be in romance. It could be in job. It could be in career. It could be with friends. It could be with whatever, your social status, whatever it is. Set those new moon intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. So if you're a Gemini and you want to move in with um, this significant other that you might have been keeping it on the DL and you're healing each other through giving one-on-one -on -one attention with one another, you may want to just say to them, you know what, I am I want a relationship that's in it for the long haul. I'm done playing the field and um, let's make this hope, wish, dream, goal a reality. And my intentions is that you and I are to be living together uh, within the next six months. And we're just going to work on that as we move through, you know, the months. And, um, you know, if I've got to get my house in order to sell it, then I'm going to do that. Um, if you've got to get your house in order to sell it and then move in with me, you can do that. Okay? But there's a six-month time frame here for you to uh, manifest your goals, your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams. Career, you may want to go from a manager to a director, a director to an executive, an executive to a COO or a CMO or a CCO or whatever it is that you want to do. CEO. Okay? So that energy is around you for you to be able to anchor it, put the action in behind it, have the communication, have the commitment is what I hear. You can have your individuality and you can have commitment. All you need to do is have the communication and voice it and make sure you and your significant other are on the same page. That's all that that's about. So I hope that that's making sense for some of you out there. But just understand that this is where the activity is for you. And this is what is going to be um, going kind of through a lot of metamorphosis uh, as we move through the month of April. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started on the tarot reading, guys. All right, what have we got going on for Jemmy's for April of 2016? Guys, also be aware that I am going to be... Um, doing the uh, May and June readings in like together in one reading okay right around April 14th April 15th I just want to make you aware of that because um, once I go on hiatus I'm not going to be posting any videos all right so you're gonna get both uh, May and June all at once all right quite early okay Gemmies, what have we got going on for your general energies, gems? General energies, general energies for Gemini's for April of 2016. Gemini's general energy, Gemini's general energy. Here's your general energy, Gemini. What do we have going on? Whoa, there we go. This is what we've got going on for work life and financial life. What have we got going on for emotional life and love life, Gemini? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life, Gemini. What have we got going on for general health for Gemini's general health? I just heard some of you Gemini's as far as it relates to your general health, like you're done with it. You are, uh, here's your general health. You are done dealing with anything that you've been um, combating and you are saying, I don't care what it takes. I, I'm done. I got to get rid of this habit or this addiction and it's just it's over it's done and I'm not even going there anymore because you want to be healthy again you want to be uh, vibrant you want to live your life you want to enjoy life okay gems so what have we got going on here for your uh, spiritual advice gem spiritual advice Spiritual advice, gems. That one fell out. Here's your spiritual advice. What do we got going on for your uh, challenge? Your your challenge that you need to overcome or work around, gems. What's your challenge? Here's your challenge. 
Okay, so I'm also going to incorporate one Archangel Guidance card, Gemmies. So what do we got going on for your Guidance Gems? Guidance. Archangel Guidance for Gems. There it is. Okay, guys, let's see. What have we got going on for your general energies for the month of April 2016, Geminis? Geminis, something's happening between the 20, I just heard the 21st, 22nd to about the 26th of April. There is something culminating um, around the home life. You've got home on the mind. You've got the house on the mind. You're going to be talking to people about their homes. You're going to be talk. They're going to be talking to you about your home. You might be renovating your home. You might be um, spending a lot of time at home. You could be having a business at home. You could be starting a business at home or you have a business at home. Um, this is a very, very positive energy. For some of you, you might be talking about marriage, engagement. Um, you might be talking about um, a relationship just going from a very kind of uh, dating status into more of an exclusive status. Um, you might be, because of this communication, you might be spending t time at each other's homes. It's almost like, this is kind of how I see it. I see it as though it's like, okay, I'm going to spend every other week on Wednesday with you and we're going to have dinner night. And then you're going to spend every other week Tuesday or Monday with me with me and we're gonna have dinner night at my place and then twice a month we're gonna go out and we're gonna have dinner or or go out and watch a comedy show or uh, you know go to see you know art at an art gallery or go to a game or something like that so I definitely see that you guys are putting structure in your relationship around your home all right, and you are putting structure as it relates to your business at home. Okay, there could be energies that are culminating around you right now as it relates to a movement into a celebration of um, a college graduation, a birthday, a wedding um, proposal, uh, engagement, um, a christening. There's something going on here where you're welcoming people into your home and they're welcoming you into your home, into their home. And the other thing that this could be is for work. You could be going into a new location, a new job where everything feels like everybody's family. And that's really, really beautiful. Okay, it's a celebratory time for you. And, um, and this is just beautiful. Okay, great energy, guys. You might be selling your home. You might be buying a home okay could be so what do we have going on for your work life and your financial life with your work life and your financial life uh, Gemini you have the eight of wands the eight of wands is all about um, these are called uh, Cupid's arrows of love so for some of you as it relates to your work life you could have someone at work that you are in love with and they're in love with you and you could be going into a business with your significant other this is beautiful energy this is all about communication this is all about going back and forth this is all about you know things are kind of up in the air right now but the thing is when I see this when you see this you've got the eight of wands over here and then you've got half of those wands being planted firmly into the ground and when you see when you speak of others and or when you talk about your significant other you're thinking that's my better half or they say you're my better half four is half of eight okay so you're anchoring this relationship at work you're anchoring yourself it's it was it was up in the air but it's coming in to be anchored it's like you're the better half of the business you're the better half of the department you're the better half of you know somebody that you love and you care for dearly it's like you just mess you just click you just get it you're just on it all right somebody could be telling you that they love you they want to they want you to move in with them you could be telling somebody else I want you to move in with me or I want to move in with you okay there's a lot of fast-paced you know um, uh, energy around this and it may catch you way off guard okay be like whoa I had no idea that you felt that way about me or that you may be coming out saying something to somebody else and they're saying wow I had no idea you felt that way about me and I love it okay so that could be what's going on here for some of you you are traveling through the air 
okay you're actually getting on a plane and you're traveling somewhere all right and this could have a lot to do with passion you might be traveling back and forth to see your significant other your significant other may want to go traveling with you okay your, your significant other may say let's go to let's go to Cabo together let's go do this together okay you know and for some of you um, this traveling it's almost like a home away from home okay so just be aware that that energy is out there but there's definite communications as it relates to maybe a home business as it relates to a business partnership you have with your significant other as it relates to um, you know a lot of communications at work so for those of you that have been waiting to get communication from a job interview or whatever it's in and um, it's looking good it's looking good so far so for probably about 80 percent of you the communication that you get regarding this job interview is going to be very positive you've got the job and you're going to a place that has a very home like atmosphere to it as it relates to finances you're really talking about your finances i mean your finances is on your mind all right gems so you are definitely making moves there is action behind your finances and you've got Mars let's see here Mars is in your seventh house so with Mars there and the Mars is going to be taking his foot off the gas on the 18th prior to the 18th try to get a lot of that um, that uh, financial discussion done and wrapped up this could mean wrapping it up okay wrap it up for um, so, so that you guys can kind of have a stable groundwork to be able to um, build from all right but this is beautiful so like I said you could be getting messages of love from somebody that you work with you could be sending messages of love to somebody that you work with you could be getting a lot of com communications at work all right please remember that we do have mercury going retrograde and mercury is going retrograde um, in your 12th house of uh, hospitals healing um, uh, clandestine affairs romance psychic ability unconscious subconscious so when mercury starts going retrograde you're gonna be turning within on this okay this whatever this transition is whatever this transformation is it's a big transformation and you really need to ground yourself in it and you really need to be stable with it so if things are happening a little bit too fast don't tell somebody would you stop I mean it's you're, this is going way too fast don't do that what you do is you say you know what I would love to talk to you about that um, here are some days that I'm available and um, let's get together and let's have a chat okay and when you do that you give them a day like you know five seven eight days in the future and just you know keep communication really light in between that time so you take that pressure off of you Gemini because when you get too um, hammered with a lot of attention you tend to want to draw back and want to regain your independence but there's something about the energy around you right now where you want that commitment but you want to maintain your independence but you're willing to sacrifice and compromise that independence to a degree all right because you really want this one all right this is this has got good energy around it okay so let's see uh, what else is coming up here you've already got two wands cards so there might be a lot of fire energy uh, there might be a lot of Aries uh, Sagittarian and um, and Leo type of energies around you okay so just be aware of that so what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and love life you know what I'm sensing from what's going on here uh, with the five of swords uh, you won uh, you won the battle and I am definitely sensing that this is a battle kind of within yourself it's almost as though you decided to shut your ego up and said you know what I can still have my independence and still be committed in a relationship I can do this I just have to communicate I just have to be intelligent about this and this is you telling your ego to take a hike you are saying to ego you know what we've had a battle back and forth and I've listened to you and yep I've been independent and yep I make my own rules but you know what I'm lonely there's nobody here so okay ego you had your moment in the Sun 
and it's time for you to go because I'm going to take the lessons that you've taught me from the past and I'm going to incorporate them into the present. And this is kind of what's going on in your emotional life and your love life. For some of you out there, you may have had to have had quite a, an introspective time, a battle, a separation from the person you love because they were trying to get around their ego, their emotions, their confusion. And it's, it's almost as if there is that victory there, but there's also that little piece of sacrifice. So however it is that the two of you have gotten together, say if you're single or if you've gone through a lot as far as um, a marriage relationship or something like that, um, whatever you two have gone through, it has been a battle. And you are going to have to make compromises on both your part. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. This is exactly what this card is saying. If you want this and you want this, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. All right. What this is also telling me with emotional life and love life, some of you are just tired of arguing. You don't want any more conflict in your life. You don't want any more gossip in your life. You have utilized your magician energy to be able to gather all of the information that you need, all the intelligence. And by intelligence, I'm thinking like some of you might even be um, in the intelligence field, like like undercover intelligence, secret intelligence, like CIA. There's this type of energy that's around you right now, like undercover you know, activity. And um, you've been gathering this information and it's almost as though you have found and gotten all of the information that you need from others and you may have befriended people just to get the lay of the land and once you got the lay of the land you decided I'm gonna keep these friends and I'm gonna tell these other friends that I'm just gonna stop I got the information from them that I needed the message has been delivered that message that has been delivered was directly related to my stable foundation, the solidarity in my relationship, the solidarity with work and everything else. You got exactly what you needed. And even though you don't want to use people, Gemini, the thing about it is in this particular case, you had to know the skinny on what was going on. And once you befriended and you knew the skinny and you reevaluated everything, you realized you know what? Thank you so much for that information, friend. I appreciate that. But your type of energy is not what I want to be around. And I'm going to slowly back off because I got what I needed. And you're kind of looking at it as I had to do what I had to do. And I think in the end, Gems, is that in this particular case, it was done so that it was almost like it was a karmic delivery okay it was a delivery of all of those good things that you've done in the past you had to do this and you're gonna find out that this friend the person that you befriended to get the information and then you let them go they were gonna let go of you anyway all right it happened for a moment in time and so for a lot of you out there it's it's a bittersweet victory but it is a victory nonetheless. Make sure that if you utilize people to get information or to get connections, that you bless them with love, with light, and you let it go. Because the thing about it is, universe works in a manner that the karmic debt will be repaid. And that person may not even known that they've been repaying a debt that to you that you incurred a very long time ago that you credited and you you got out there and you did something really sweet for somebody else and all of a sudden you do this one action and that one action changes your life for the better okay so there is a little bit of a bittersweet victory here it's almost like for example for some Gemini's out there you know 
you befriended somebody, you got the information that you needed, and because you got the information that you needed, you are now embarking on a very stable home life with uh, you know a new love partner potentially or even you know a partner that you're happy with right now and because you've done that you can spend more time with that partner you can make it more solid but your friend you're not able to spend as much time with your friend as you have in the past please understand that your friend understands that but it does feel a little bit bittersweet so don't worry about it gems everything's gonna be fine if it is not happening from you then it is happening to you so for some of you out there you may have had a friend that befriended you to get information and then once they got that information then they left you okay so that could be how that works out for some of you out there but for others of you out there if you are single and dating you win so and the reason you win is because somebody is no longer fighting for this person's hand or for control of this person definitely and because they've left and they've decided I don't want to play this game anymore then this person now with you that loves you and wants to start a home with you and tells you how much they love you and they care about you and is communicating with you they're yours now okay because those two other people that were vying for their attention or those two other people that didn't prove that they were in it for the long haul or didn't prove to the other person that they were worth the fight they've walked away and now not only do you have this great guy or this great girl that has been through hell and back with a nasty divorce or a nasty um, uh, friendship social situation they've now got information too and it's going to serve the both of you and they're saying I've won I've got that nasty person out of my life I'm here holding my five swords and yep I lost a bit you know it was a bittersweet victory but I'm free okay I'm free to spend time with you you're free to spend time with me we don't have to hide anymore they're gone now okay so that might be how that's working for some of you and um this illumination of this relationship going public could happen in May okay between April and May so just be aware of that so what is your um, what is your uh, general health energy around you uh, gems really this person this this love is kind of like a new love um, it could be a Scorpio cancer or Pisces um, uh, this Scorpio Cancer or Pisces is very enamored with you. They are mesmerized by you, Gemini. They are mesmerized by you. They they have you. Basically, Gem, you are the fish in the cup. Okay. So they have you at a safe distance, but they have you nonetheless. And they look at you from afar. They talk to you from afar. You may have not seen this person in a while. You may have to travel to see this person. Okay, you might have like a little bit of a long distance um, relationship. Okay, but this is love. This is puppy love. This is the beginning of love. This is this is uh, a crush. This is that honeymoon phase. All right. So just be aware of that. For some of you um, that are dating somebody that got a divorce or has been divorced for a couple years or a year or so or something like that this person is coming to you and saying and communicating I love you I want to continue communicating with you because I love you so much even though we can't be around each other all the time and I would like us really to consider moving in together and as weird as this sounds I want you to move into the house where I lived with my wife or my husband okay so that could be the type of energy around you right now it's okay jimmy's if you are asked to move in with somebody and you are 100 percent in it to win it and you say yep in may let's talk about moving in together and um we can embark on that you know prior to the fall of this year okay if you do that gems and there is energy from that prior person there I would highly recommend get that Palisanto wood 
get your crystals, okay, and your stones, and grid that place, okay? Clear out all that negative energy, okay? That is what I would do because your health, this relates to the general story, your health is going to be affected if you do not remove those energies from that place of residence. So you must do that and you must tell your significant other that you are moving in with, you must tell them, I am going to clean this, this house. I'm going to clear the house. You know, through my spirituality, through magic, I'm going to clear it because I don't want any of those negative energies attaching to me. And I don't want them reattaching to you. We're starting out on a clean slate. We've both been through some crap, but we're both victorious with this. Let's do this the right way. Let's make this relationship in this house solid. And anything that that person could have touched, if you can get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay? Um, so just be aware of that. As it relates to health, you are getting, you are getting communication regarding love. And it is affecting your health positively. You feel young again. That is what's going on. You may hear of somebody that you've been kind of dating and they've been going through a really messy divorce or whatever, and you hear that they've won in the divorce and it was a bittersweet victory, but they're free again. And now they're free to show you off to the world and to spend time with you in your home and you in their home. And it's like it's making you feel alive again. Okay, because you're no longer in that clandestine affair energy. All right, so as it relates to health, this is love is increasing your health. Love is helping you, you to heal. Okay, that's what this is. Uh, for some of you, you might be just a little bit overly emotional, and that's not normal for a Gemini, but if you are, just calm it down, Gems, calm it down. Bring in that analytical side because you don't want to give yourself you know, headaches or sleepless nights, you know, because of all that's going on. Everything is happening for a reason. And everything that's happening, whether there's been loss or compromise or whatever, it is to bring you the message of love thick and fast. And it makes your relationship more solid. This could be at work. This could be with family. This could be with children. This could be with a lover. This could be with somebody that you're already in a relationship with. All right. I just heard also for some of you, as it relates to emotional life and love life, if you are, you know, going through a divorce, um, it's it's done. It's done. That divorce is done. Whether it's somebody around you that you care about, or whether it um, is happening within your arena, it is done. The um, the message has been delivered. The divorce papers have been signed. The uh, house has been either sold or another house has been bought and you know what you're sitting here gems and you are saying I have waited so long for this and the fight is finally over and I had to play hardball and I'm sorry if I hurt anybody in that particular exchange and I, I will always love them. I really will. And I wish them luck. But it got to the point where unless I defended myself and utilized my intelligence to make sure that everything was was on the up and up, even though I, I had to use some tactics, I had to or else I was just going to die. All right. So this is the message for you gems that's coming out right now. So there is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio um, that is definitely in your life. And you've won them over. They've won you over. And you are talking about love. You are talking about communication. You are talking about travel. You are talking about potentially for some of you uh, because you knew somebody. Uh, you got a job because you knew them on the side. Uh, for some of you out there, the reason why you got accepted into a certain university is because of you knowing somebody. And you're networking, okay, and it makes you more solid, okay. So, so be aware of that. And this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right. So overall, really, Jemmy's the energy is really, really good. 
the five of swords is kind of like a neutral card it's a bittersweet victory but it is a victory nonetheless it's just that some tactics had to be utilized to understood or for you to understand and solidify where it was that you stood and then you took that information intelligently and you manipulated it to a point where you kind of showed your worth to others is what you had to do and by manipulating that energy and you didn't do it in a nefarious way it was just something you had to do okay and you really found out that a lot of people um, are easily manipulated and that might have been a kind of rude awakening for you how easy these people are to be manipulated and you know you may have told yourself you know I'm, I'm not gonna manipulate them again but I'm really gonna have to watch out for those I'm going to have to watch out for those people around this person, okay, because they're so easily manipulated. i got to make sure that I step in with my abilities to manipulate the energies and everything so that it serves the highest good of all, okay. So that's what I'm getting out of this reading, uh, Geminis. So what have we got for your uh, spiritual advice, Geminis? Divine Connection. I am definitely sensing here, Geminis, whatever it is that you did, whatever it is that you had to manipulate, whatever it is that you had to do to determine where you stood, universe said, Gems, in this particular case, you got to do this. You, you got to find out what's going on here. Because if you don't, you're going to be in limbo and you're going to think in your head and then you're not going to be able to sleep. Then you're going to have an insomnia. No universe guided you to do exactly what you did to get the results that you've got even though it was a bittersweet victory you are victorious you are celebrating okay the divine connection is there listen to your intuition listen to your guidance listen to you know messages that come to you from the outside okay divine connection meditate keep that connection with universe very strong okay so what is your challenge gems fire gems your challenge is the passion and the aggression of Mars in your um, in your seventh house of partnerships there is going to be a lot of aggression and there's gonna be a lot of passion as it relates to romantic partnerships and business partnerships Remember what I said. Mars is taking foot off the gas. Saturn is taking foot off the brake. And now you're coasting. Whatever it is that you need to do to keep things moving forward, but not too rapidly forward, do it. Because people are coming at you left and right. If you're single, people are coming at you left and right, and they're going to do whatever it takes to win you over. Um, people are coming at you left and right at work to to get a um, an inventory of your skills and to capitalize on that okay so just be aware of that that's your challenge for some of you fire may be a challenge because you may have recently had a, a house fire okay um, there might have been uh, a fire as it relates to uh, your com your uh, commuting so there might have been a fire somewhere as you're like commuting to work or something like that and you have to take a different route that could be how this works out um, for some of you fire signs might be a challenge for you so in this particular case the way I see it is that you might have a Sag in Aries or um, or a potential Leo energy that's constantly communicating to you constantly passionate constantly aggressive and all you need to do all you need to do is just listen to your divine connection maybe you don't respond to them right away try to keep that balance try to keep the flow the flow with the water the flow okay this stuff is thick and fast all right, keep the flow going. Don't move too fast. 
all right? But do keep progressing forward. That is paramount. So you might have a fire sign energy around you that's literally coming up to you saying, I have loved you for years. I want to date you. I want to show you off. Um, I want to see you more often. I want to see you four times a week. And you know what you need to do, Gemini. You need to be like, all right. I love you too. I care for you too. Um, even if you're married, same thing. They want to see more of you. Okay? Even if you're, you know, your friends, they want to see more of you. They want you everywhere. All you need to say, you know what? I love you too. This is my schedule. And if you want to pick a couple days out of that schedule, I absolutely, when I'm with you, I will give you one-on-one -on -one time and it will be worth it. All right. So be aware that you've got fire energy around you. This is passion. For some of you Geminis out there, you are going to be um, um, approached with very passionate sexual energy. And it's going to be very hard not to take it slow. All right. So just be aware of that. But it's definitely coming because somebody, somebody is giving you a message of love and they're moving fast. So just be aware of that. Okay. It could be you, but the way I'm seeing this, it's coming at you because, you know, if you look at it, you're the swords person here. The way I'm seeing this, you're the, the, the information is coming at you. You're the swords person. It's coming at you. It's not going from you. It's coming at you. Okay. So that is, and the house is right behind it. The four of wands is right behind the message of the eight of wands. Okay. So for some of you, I'm definitely sensing by uh, August, um, by August for sure, uh, you are probably going to be moving in with a significant other if you have not already done so. Or you might be moving. All right, gems. Okay, so what have we got going on for your um, Archangel Guidance, Geminis? Oh, wow. Clairvoyance. And Clairvoyance says, this is Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Um, you see his wand that he has here? It reminds me even of like, you know, like the gambling casinos in like Vegas and stuff. Like when you win a jackpot, it the the lights go up. So I'm for some of you, um, you might be winning in a game of chance, and this could have been a game of chance with love. It could have been gambling. It could have been a game of chance of of anything really, because you got the vision. Okay. For some of you gems out there, because you got the vision, like for example, if you, you may have gone to sleep one night and say you're a college student, or you're gonna be a college student, and you dreamt of a college, you dreamt of a university. So say you dreamt of UCLA, all right, and you were planning on going to Southern Cal. And for some reason, you keep dreaming about UC you need to go to UCLA because heaven is giving you the answers to your questions through your dreams. If you have been dating somebody or if you have been interested in somebody or somebody's been interested in you or you don't even know they're interested in you and you are having a dream about the both of you being together and loving on each other and kissing one another and just being calm and comforted and happy that is universe saying to you listen listen i'm sending you messages all right if universe shows you uh, in your dream that you have a, a house fire, okay? Listen, check the electricity, 
okay? Because some of you might end up, you know, needing to get out of the house so it can be updated, so it can be upgraded. All right, gems. This could be, because you do have home energy, so this could be what's going on here. You are getting actual sight from heaven, from universe, from God, angels, spirit guides. They are giving you sight so that you can make the right decision moving forward. This is a really beautiful reading. It really, really is. And even though the victory was achieved and it was bittersweet, it's a victory nonetheless. But I will say this, gems. If you did anything to manipulate energy, where you kind of were opportunistic with a situation that you didn't plan to stay in or that you didn't plan to follow through with, okay, but you had to do it, make sure that you send that person that you used to, to uh, get, this, get this winning, victorious type of energy around you, you need to send them love and blessings beyond the stars. Okay? You have to. Even if you think that you're just not energetically connected and you could never be friends with them or you could never, you know, love them. Okay? The way that, you know, you kind of gave off. You say, I got my victory. I'm here. I did it. It was worth it. And now I send love, abundance, kindness, and light to that other person, even though they're not going to be in my life as much as they were or, or anymore. Okay? You send them abundance, love, and light and say, you know what? I wish you the best and I forgive you and I forgive myself but I've got what I need now and you are free to walk on your path and I am free to walk on mine okay and I know with some of the transformations that have been out there gems there are people you've walked away from but those people helped you out more than you will ever know you send them light abundance love and happiness and you let that karmic debt settle to be paid Signed on the dotted line, contract over, signed, sealed, delivered, the end. All right. Okay, gems, I hope you like this, uh, this video. I hope this message resonated with you in some way, shape, or form. Please remember, these are just general readings. And also remember that I will not be um, doing any personal consultations uh, or uh, readings uh, until after the 10th of June. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings, my dear, my dear Geminis. Take care of yourselves. Namaste.